How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting the fuzzy. What's going on, people? Okay, when well, this shit is theory, it's going on August the 2nd, 2018, forced to share a room with a transgender woman in Tornado Shelter, sex abuse victim, victim filed a human rights complaint. Now, when I share this theory with you, um, here it is. But when Hannah called the Human Rights Legal Support Century, they said that she was one engaged in discrimination for describing her new, roommate, her new roommate as a man, that she was discriminating. A woman has filed a human rights complaint against a tornado shelter for a female recovery addicts, claiming that she was forced to share a small double room with a pre-operative melted female transgender person. The formal complaint against the Jean Tweed Century, which runs Palmerton House, followed by Christy Hanna, effort to inquire that her own rights in the unusual situation only had been told by um, Ochano Human Rights Legal Support Century by describing her new roommate as a man, Hanna was the one engaging in illegal discrimination. Now, Hannah, 37 years old, is a former um, paramedic who has been lately forced to forced in the service industry, and she has been struggling with the laundering efforts of sexual abuse and resulting in the problems of addiction of alcohol and cocaine. She described herself as an active ally in the LGBTQ community, but said that the conflict has left her feeling as vulnerable woman are unable to voice their own gender-based rights for the fear of violating someone else's. In affecting someone in the house, this can be completely run recovery, let alone this, your safety, let alone your life, Hannah said in an interview. Now she spent two nights sharing a room, constantly looking over to make sure her roommate was still in the bed. She said, <laughs> it's not funny. She said, but taking it and then she and taking a night leave from the shelter and then definitely from the shelter Hannah um, had lived for several months in a century turned out of a factory located in the old Victory House Victorian house but since last week has been <laughs> on account as translation she said these two nights was these two nights were a help for me this is not funny I'm sorry and I'm not going to record over. In a formal complaint, a human rights tribute as far as Antano, um, Antano, Hannah uh, alleges that the shelter admit a male body transgender into the safety of her home, bedroom, and the safe spaces. She claimed that she caused her stress, anxiety, rate flashbacks, symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, and sleep deprivation. We're all choked up by the own anxiety of crippling PTSD symptoms. You could cut the tension in the house. She said that she described her other women having rape flashbacks and threatened suicide on requirement of hospitalization. Now, Lucy, the ongoing executive director of Gene Century, said that her agency is fully aware of the requirements under the Autonomous Human Rights Code and are well known for the work in providing trauma-informed care across our program. With respect to accommodating trans women, we are not discriminating, nor do we impose modification with respect to accommodations. Now, Lucy said that in a written statement in the National Post that we do, however, do our best to meet the needs of all parties affected by the way the complies as far as the compliance of the shelter standards and the trauma-informed practice. Now, the this now despite began in mid-July when the transgender woman arrived and according to Hannah was acting odd and fell a sobriety test. Residents must be clean for a month before they admitted. After some time in detox, the trans woman was admitted in July the 20th and was assigned to Hannah's bedroom, a double room with beds about five feet apart. Now Hannah said that the woman was in her late 20s with facial hair, <laughs> just hair, and wears large um, black combat boots which trigger um, with their thumping. Um, she said that in one um, 
one um, dinner that the roommate talked about having had a wife in the past and was pregnant, had a um, pregnant fiance and was overheard talking about some unidentified woman as hot and expressing her preference for Latino women. Hannah said that her mannerism came across as piggish and inappropriate. Now, the post was unable to contact the trans woman on Thursday. Hannah said that she told the staff that the person made her feel vulnerable and scared and viewed the, the scared of our residents, some of whom signed a petition to the staff. A lot of us completely upset at the flabbergasted, pretty much of un instantly all full of fear. <sighs> this is a long read. They won't even allow a man on the property without permission by the staff of all residents. All we are pre-warning of any of this. There was never a discussion. It was never mentioned. We were all just blindsided. Hannah said everyone in the house had had at some point of a male enforced trauma. This is not discrimination. This is about the safety of male enforced trauma victims. She said that the shelter staff told her, we are about inclusion. And it is unfortunate that you feel this way, deal with it or leave. She was offered the uh, um, alternative of moving to a room that, because she led to the fire escape, did not even have a door that closes, so she declined. So when the help of a family friend, she inquired about her, her own rights, with the Human Rights Legal Support Century, which provide guidance for potential human rights complaints. Her friend Peta described Hannah as a, a brish and said that in the phone call she was very angry, under distress, under under stress, and used male pronouns to empathize her objections, which led to the um advisor to end the call, enforcing that it was in fact, Hannah, who was violating human rights law by the words of behavior, which could be a roommate to file a complaint on her own, putting the century in the conflict of interest. Now, Renu, Chief Commissioner of Ortano Human Rights Com um, Commission, said that in the general rule, women's shelters have the rights to re-instruct re accommodation to women a trans person should have the access to shelters that matches their life gender identity she said in a statement to the post however this does not necessarily require that a cis or trans woman share the same bedroom and an appropriate balance of the rights of both women has required that one of the women be provided in a non-share accommodation Doritano human rights code says that everyone has the right to equal treatment with respect of service and occupation of accommodation without discrimination because of various grounds including gender identity and expression and also everyone who occupies accommodation has the right to freedom by harassment by occupation because of the same grounds okay Oof, that was a long read Sorry for the laughing. I just always think it's funny when, you know, um, when a trans woman comes somewhere that another woman feels as though another trans woman want to have sex with her. It's kind of like with the gay man thing. When a gay man, when a straight man see a gay man, oh my God, he wants to have sex with me because he's gay. Sweetie, y'all give yourself too much credit for somebody who has sex with y'all. It makes me, it amazes me how y'all think that just because that person was once one way or that way that that's how they are. It's sad that you feel as, it's sad that it's unfortunate that she was raped and stuff by men and stuff like that. That's unfortunate. But every man didn't rape you. And the thing about it is, I'm not being harsh, but everybody shouldn't pay for somebody else's crime. And it's sad that here it is a two-spirit woman, a trans woman, sent there as a woman and stuff. And you're looking for things on her to put her down and she's a man, I can't say she's a man because you're traumatized. You're discriminated against her. And you would feel the same way if they did this you in the shelter, you know. If if they did this you in the shelter, well, I don't want you here because, you know, you have a certain type of way. You're going to discrimination against people in the shelter. We want you to leave. But they didn't do that for you. They tried to accommodate you. You still was not happy. You ended up moving out, allegedly. So the thing is that you should be happy. You should be happy. You moved out. 
you know, they couldn't accommodate you. That's what happens. Listen, everybody has rules when you go to different places, stuff like that. If, if you go into a shelter, stuff like that, it's because simple fact of the matter, you needed help. If everybody went into the shelter and was like, you know what, I don't like these beds. I want a new one. I don't like these curtains. I want a new one. I don't like the better food. I like this. I like, that's not a shelter. That means you like the king or the queen inside of a palace and you basically give them orders and demand. When you're in a shelter, that is called the handout, help. Now you discriminate against everybody's in there. Everybody's in there looking for help. But here it is, you're a person that feels as though you don't want that person in there. You're very sick and it's sad. And at the end of the day, we all have to coexist. Whether you like the person or not, whether they gender identity, agree with you or not, it's none of your business. Until that woman jumps to you and try to have sex with you and stuff like that, then I could understand what she was trying to fill up on me. She felt my breast, she felt my... Then I could understand, okay, she's been attacked. She's been violated. She wasn't paying you no mind, according to the document. But you made it your... Oh, well, she she, she, made, she looking at me. She said she's been with a woman. Just because she trans on me, she never been with a woman. Hell, a gay man been with a woman. A straight woman been with a woman. I mean, you just looking for stuff just to fuck with her. It's so sad how people are, is, in this world we live in. We have to coexist. We have to coexist. You just need, really have to give you a time out, sweetie. And I understand you're in trauma and stuff like that, because here it is, you know, you're looking at the person, you watch it. But if it was a woman inside of there, came inside of there, to me, my personal opinion, you would still feel the same way. If she was too butch, if she was too masculine, or she's a cis woman, you're like, well, she's, she acts too much like a man. I don't want her in the room with me. But you have to understand one thing. You're in a shelter, sweetie. You're in a shelter, which means you're there for help. You're not there to um, attack people. You're not here to discriminate. You're there for help. Get the help you needed. Move on. Get your place together. And this way, you could just move on in life. And that's what you do. Anyway, like I said before, I love your feedback on this. How do you feel about this? Now, the trans woman basically been attacked once again because they don't want us to coexist. They don't want us to pee in the bathroom. They don't want us to do a lot of things. And I'm just, when I say this, I don't mean every person. Because some people really could care less about trans people, trans men. They could, they could give two flying fucks what y'all do or what we do. But then there's these type of people like her. To be honest, they find a problem with any damn body. She just happened to be trans going there. This is just my opinion. I feel this on my person. But she would have had a problem with a black woman in there because she's white. I would not put her picture on here. She's like, oh my goodness, she's black. She, she's not, she does she, she does look a certain way. Oh my goodness, she's Spanish. But she says she likes Spanish women. You know, the thing is, she could be Spanish. She just have a problem with anybody. My personal opinion. It amazes me. It amazes me. Anyway, discrimination is real. We have to coexist. That's what we have to do. Race, gender, whatever case may be, we have to coexist. Whether you like it or not, we have to exist together. Because nobody's going nowhere anytime soon. And at the end of the day, we need each other more than each other really think. Anyway, like I said before, I love your feedback on this. How do you feel about this? Here it is, they're both in a lot of trouble. Here it is, they both needed help. Here it is, they were trying to help two people. Here it is, she wanted them out because she didn't like what she was. How do you feel about this? Like I said before, subscribe to my channel. At the top, there's an Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow back. And of course, I'm going to be reading your comments. And subscribe to my channel. Let you know I love you. And thank you for watching. Kiss 3.